Okay, Jack, I'm going to show you one more thing with the logo deck. Ooh, we're at the end. Yeah, we're at the end. It's been a fun, magical journey for both of us. But everything must reach an inevitable conclusion, and this is your last trick. Sad times. But we're going to give these a shuffle, and I'm ending up with probably the best one. But I've got a very important question for you, Jack. Okay. A question that I really want you to ponder on. And the question is this. Jack, do you believe, do you have free will? Let me, let me further labour the point, Jack. Do you believe that when you go through life, everything is predetermined? Or do you believe that you are in control of your own actions? Do you believe that no matter what decisions you make, what choices you make, whatever turn you make in life, whatever you do, whatever you have ever done, whatever you will ever do, do you believe it's predetermined and you would have got there regardless? You would have ended up in that destination? Or do you believe that you've got free will and you're in control of your own actions and you choose where you end up and it's your decision and your decision only? Free will or inevitability? I think free will. You think free will? Yeah. What if I told you <coughs> that you do not have free will? And even though you feel like you've got free will, even though you feel like you're in control of your own choices and your own actions and your own destiny, in reality, everything is controlled from the beginning. See? So? <laughs> I'm going to prove it to you. Using a pack of logo cards. Oh, I like those cards. I'm going to mix them up. Okay. And what I'd like you to do is cut any way you want to. About there. Perfect. And we'll mark <coughs> that. Right. So, <clears throat> I have a prediction. Right. See, I'm going to try and prove to you that despite having all the choices in the world, the outcome is still inevitable. Oh, so, I've made a prediction. And I want you to remember that this prediction is going to be on the table from the very, very beginning. Right. Cool? Yeah. Good. I'm going to take the cards that you cut to. One, two, three. We'll put the rest of the deck away. Okay. And before we do anything, what I'd like you to do is take these three cards, mix them up face down so they're in no order. Don't look at what they are, but just mix them up face down. And then when you're done, put them into a row on the table. Okay. Now, understand this, Jack. What you're about to see is full of choices. It's full of decisions that you make. It's already started. Because you decided where to cut the pack, which ended up having us in a situation where we're using these three cards. If you'd have cut in a different place, it would have been three completely different logos. It could have been Wendy's, it could have been Pepsi, it could have been Fanta, it could have been Firefox, the list goes on and on. Then, you chose to mix up the cards for the exact length of time that you mixed them. If you'd have given one more miss, one less mix, it would have ended up in a completely different order. Then, Jack, you chose to put these cards down in that particular order. If you put that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, it would have ended up completely differently. Would you agree, up until this point, the choice has been yours, the decisions have been yours and yours alone, Jack? We have to be. Let's make another decision, Jack. When I snap my fingers, what I want you to do is pick up one of those cards, but hold it face down so that you and the people watching do not know what the logo is on that card. Okay. okay. <laughs> Pick up one. Uh, um, you sure? Yeah. Okay. So that one goes right there inside the box. Don't look at it. Put it in the box. In the box. There you go. And we're going to put that out the way so I cannot get to it. That right. was a free choice. Would you agree? Yeah. You chose which card to put in the back box. Let's make another choice. We've got these two. Right. The next choice is very simple. <coughs> when I snap my fingers... You're going to choose one of these for yourself, and you're going to keep one for me. Just so you know, there is no verbal ambiguity here. Mm. Whatever the one you choose, that's the one that is for you. Okay. The other one that's left on the table will be for me. Your choice. Your choice alone. Now, I know what's happening in your mind right now, Jack. You're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and that's absolutely fine. But ultimately, when I snap my fingers, you need to make a decision. Jack, make that decision right now. Oh, pressure. Uh, which one are you wanting for yourself? I want that one. Are you sure? Yep. Which leaves this one for me. Yep. I'm going to give you one last decision, Jack. All the decisions that you've made up until this point has led us to this moment mm -hmm. where we're in this situation. One final decision. Would you like to switch which card I have and which card you have? You can switch if you want to. But I don't want you saying later on, I didn't give you the choice. No, I'm going to stick. You sure? Yep. One switch can change everything. I'll stick. Okay. Free will.
You chose what cards to use. Yep. For a shuffle pack of logos. You chose the order that they were in. You chose the order to put them on the table. You chose which one to put in the box. You chose which one to keep for me, to keep to you. You didn't even change your mind at the end. No. And this prediction has been here from the very beginning. Jack, there are th hold it for me. You can do this yourself. There's three lines, three predictions. You can see it, right? Yeah. Read that first line. I am holding the apple card. That's the first prediction. You are holding the apple card. Turn over the card you chose to keep for yourself. Oh, <gasps> I got the apple. What's the next one? You are holding the YouTube card. You chose to give this to me. I that mean, was your choice. It can't be. Your choice, Jack, that I would be holding the YouTube what card. The Remember, you could have took any of these from any position and put them in any order, but there's one last one. One last prediction. What's that? The NASA card is in the box. In the, the card NASA box. card is in the card box. Open up the card box, Jack. Take out the card and turn it over. It's the NASA card. The NASA card is in the card box. And Jack, when you think about this later on, and you will be thinking about this later on, Jack, when you think about this and you think about this moment, and this moment will stay with you forever, Jack, when you think about this and you think about this moment, you'll be thinking about what would have happened if you'd made a different decision. What would have happened if you'd taken a different card out? What would have happened if you put them into a different order? What would have happened if a different card went into the box? Would it, the prediction have changed? Do you actually have free will, Jack? Or is everything inevitable? Well, my ex-free will is, do I am retiring from you? You're never allowed <laughs> to leave. <laughs>